Hello, here we are. <laughs> I'm sorry it took me a while, but uh, because apparently in this house it's harder to find a Christmas hat than uh, throwing a ring into a volcano to save everyone. And I think I didn't even find the best Christmas hat. Like, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Wait, can I can I put this over my mic over my my head? Wait. Oh, we can do this. Oh yes. <laughs> I look even paler. We can't do this. Wait, let me just. Christmas mood. We tried. I have an idea. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. I'm gonna fix this. As you can see, even the intro is working again. Yay! There we go. This might be working. <gasps> yes, the Christmas mood. <laughs> I tried, okay? I'm, I'm really trying. <laughs> okay. Well, I have not nothing much to say, so welcome. Hope you had a nice day so far. Today I plan on actually finishing the game. And we're doing a little bit, you know, sit back, relax a little bit. <laughs> It's been a stressful week and I'm actually very sad I didn't... Oh, where's, where's the key? Why is it not working? There we go. I didn't get to stream yesterday because I had an appointment which was unfortunately a little bit more important. You know, sometimes in life that happens. <laughs> but yeah, we're definitely gonna finish the game tonight or this evening, depending on where you are, or even this morning. So yeah. It's it's staring at me again. I don't like it. So change over here. It's definitely gonna be staring at you too. Because we're gonna go through this together. Also I don't really have a quiz Christmas theme. A Christmas. Christmas theme. <laughs> Maybe for the next stream I'm gonna put some lights around my microphone. That would I think that would look a little bit cooler. You know? It's the season of everybody decorating and going all out. Uh except me. I'm wearing a black t-shirt, which perfectly blends in, or a black pullover, which perfectly blends in with my black chair. So, poor choice of clothing, clothing there, but uh, we're just gonna ignore that, okay? We're all here for the gameplay. <laughs> so yeah, let's load the game. Oh yeah, we were fluffy again. I don't even remember what was... Oh yeah, so uh, we fought off the... The bad crooked neck man. And now we're I don't know. I think oh we have to solve the puzzle. I remember we have to solve the puzzle. Where was that room? The puzzle. I think it was all the way down, wasn't it? Oh, it's where very loud. Why is it so loud all of a sudden? Let me just turn that down a little bit because that is heckin' loud. And we don't want our ears to f to go flying away. Like, psh, not gonna happen. Okay. No, no, no. A bit more quiet. Yeah, I think this is fine. This is fine. We can deal with this. Okay, so I think this is even the room where we have to go to have to be, to be honest. Okay, so what's the word? Choose which pieces to use starting from the left. And last time, uh, we found quite a few words, you know. Uh, some people in, in the chat have been a little bit naughty with the words. <laughs> but I think... What could it be? <gasps> oh! Let me guess. It's family. Eh? Well? Why? 
<gasps> oh my god, it worked! Big brain time. I'm very happy. We got a safe key, so what's in the safe? Got a revolver and a pistol ammo. Oh god, don't make me shoot anyone because I can't aim in video games. Okay. Hey Fluffy, what do you think about this? Save the game. Because something bad's gonna happen. Now that we have a gun. Holds five bullets. Okay, and a few bullets. <laughs> Good thing uh, the medical staff did not use this every single day. Oh no. Mr. David! Oh heck, it's it's loud. It is too loud. Let me turn this down a little bit more. M monster, Mr. Mr. David, help! Grr. This monster's persistent. Fluffy, over here! Oh God, David, you're gonna shoot Fluffy! No, I'm scared of monsters. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Fluffy, get over here! Don't let that monster come near you. Oh, Fluffy. Yeah. Fluffy! I gotta go after Fluffy. Okay. I'm thinking they're running up the stairs because that's where I found them last time. Fluffy? Fluffy, where are you? Mr. Fluffy Man! Oh no, wait. It's... It's probably on the roof, but not all the way on the top. Wait, where, where, where did we get onto the roof last time? Let's go, David. We gotta save Mr. Fluffy, our one and only friend. Okay, let's go. Whoa, no. There we go. Fluffy! Uh-oh. Oh, why is it so loud? No, stay away. Mr. David, help. Over here, Fluffy. Don't let it get near. Um. Ah, run away, Mr. David, help! Damn it, it really is after Fluffy. Why? Fluffy, listen. Don't let it catch you. Run away, I'll take care of it. Oh, okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna screw this up so bad. Okay. Oh, it's the naughty number. Fluffy! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> no! Well, we can just try again, you know. Fluffy! <laughs> ah, my ears! <laughs> this game is out of control. Man, this game is out of control. No worries. It just takes a little little practice. Fluffy, get away. Fluffy, don't run in front of the gun. It's gonna munch on you. How often do I have to shoot it? Fluffy, Fluffy, get away from it. Fluffy, I'm gonna shoot you again. Is it dead? Please be dead for good. This is the end. Don't come near Fluffy again, monster. Oh my god, did it put did I push it down? Phew. I don't know how many times I shot it, but not it, even it could. Fluffy, I'm sorry you had to go through that, but it's all okay now. Fluffy, what's wrong? Were you hurt? Uh-oh. Fluffy? Why? Huh? I... It's so scary. But I... I kept hanging in there. And I just... I just want to go home. Why won't Mama come? Why does Mama hate me? Oh no, Fluffy. Mama hates me, so she'll never come back for me. I'm just an unwanted kid. Fluffy, that's not true. It's not... it's... 
That's not your... you. I'm going to Mr. Policeman. Huh? Well, okay, I'll go with you. I'm fine, I can go there by myself. Fluffy, you shouldn't be alone at night. I'm a tough kid. I can make it on my own, even if Mama isn't there. Even if Mama isn't there, I won't qui- I won't cry. There we have it again. I won't cry. What? Oh no, David. My head, it feels like it's gonna explode. Oh, and I burn my finger again. Whatever, we'll just keep on going. Feels like it's gonna explode. Oh no, what? Fluff Fluffy? Where did he go? No! My friend! My only friend! He left me. He left on his own. No, Fluffy, your mother didn't hate you. It was you who lost faith in her. Ooh. What have I been doing here? Wandering these ruins, looking for a man I don't know? I should go home. There's no point to this. Nothing, nothing will change. Okay, let's go home. Okay, let's go home. There's nothing left for us in this hospital. Oh, that was that was too close or too far. We didn't want to go into the basement. Let's go. When is someone crying? What? Sounds like a woman's voice. Could it be Fluffy's mother? So she did come for him. That's good. I must have passed Fluffy by. It's coming from the clinic side. I'll go check it out. Okay, let's save the game because we don't trust anyone. Hello, where are you hiding? Not in here, apparently. Oh, now we're just gonna spend an eternity looking for this woman's voice. Hello? Hello, woman, where are you hiding? If you get eaten by Mr. M Mr. Dude, then it's not my fault. It's not gonna be my fault. Oh, this is the vomit door. Not in the vomit room. Am I just starting to imagine things? I don't think we're getting closer, to be honest. Hello, where are you hiding? Hello! We're looking for crying women in hospitals! Now. And Fluffy left us because he said he didn't need us anymore. Which made me very sad. Now I'm looking for crying people instead. Well, she's not in here. We checked this one already. Woman, where are you hiding? 
Why are you crying? Please, please stop crying. Everything's gonna be all right. Mr. David is here to take care of you. Where is she hiding? Can't find her. <gasps> the door's open. Oh, this door was not open before. Okay. Oh, we're gonna regret this. Well, since we have nothing better to do, I can't enter the room. Oh, we can. What's this? Bathtub room? Someone having a bath in here. Who's... Who's that over there? Oh, no. Hey, who are you? Oh, God. M mom what? Baby. Why did you abandon me? That's not mom. How can you be here? <coughs> I hate hospitals. You're my family, yet you abandoned me? No, you were sick, mom. So... So you left me? My own family couldn't stand me anymore? No, you're wrong, you're wrong. Oh boy, don't, don't grab your mother like that. Who are you? My mom couldn't possibly be here. Why are you pretending to be her? It hurts, Davy. Just like it did then. What? Are you going to try and kill me again? What? What is going on? It hurts so much, Davy. What is going on? Ah! Who are you? Why are you in my house? What did you do with my husband? Answer me! Mom, please stop. You keep saying things like that. Dad left a long time ago, okay? Did you forget? Shut up, intruder. I don't know anyone like you. I'll call the police on you. Stop it. Don't tell me you're already going senile. Please, take a rest for today. I'm tired from work, just tell me if I'm a bother. What is she doing in the background? Shut up, keep your mouth shut. Do you think I know you? Get out of here! Stop. What are you saying? Did I do something wrong? Please, just tell me if I did something wrong. Are you teasing me? Because it's not funny. Please, mom? Quiet. I'm not your mother. I don't know you. Get out. Oh. Enough. Oh shit, what's happening now? Gah. M murderer. Somebody murderer. David. Leave your mother alone. David, hey, what are you doing? Hey, stop, let go. You're trying to kill her? David! Oh no. It appears to be a brain tumor. It's putting too much it's putting much pressure on her brain. Sudden changes in behavior, violent actions, and memory loss can be signs of brain disease. Oh it's not your fault. Don't be distraught. In some cases counseling to resolve friction in a family can uncover an illness. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but this kind of thing happens all the time. Oh well, it's it's not a good thing to happen all the time. We had noticed a little sooner. Back to the topic of your mother. She appears to be very weak. We'll have to postpone the operation for now. 
We've hospitalized her for the time being, and her condition will influence our decision. Hopefully it won't be long. Oh, Please, come by to see her often, even if she doesn't seem to know you. She is family. No. What? We're not family anymore. Don't... Don't say we are. If I hadn't been stopped just like that, I would have snapped her neck. I would have never been forgiven for it. There, re there really was hatred in me, and it's true I've abandoned her in the hospital. It was my only family, my precious mother who cared for me after my father left, and yet I... My wishes never come true. My dreams, love, and even family all go away. I can't have anything that's not crooked. Oh no. What? What have I been searching for? I don't have to anymore. It's obvious now. There was only one way from the very beginning. Scene 3. Central Hospital. Fluffy. End. Okay. What's happening now? Damn it, David hasn't answered a single call. What is he up to? And where? That doesn't seem good. Nope, definitely not. Paul, what should we do? I knew we shouldn't have date shouldn't have left David alone. Marion, get a hold of yourself. How can I be calm about this? Like Paul. You need to do something. Save your friend. David's so worn out from things with his mother and Shirley. He's even suffered all her old wounds. I was already scared for him. Scared that he'd be he'd do something there was no turning back from. Oh no. I suggested moving to get his mind clear. But that had didn't help. Now did it. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it wasn't a bad idea. But it was a mistake for me to pick that place. And no shit, Paul. There was cracks in the wall. Weird haunted TVs. You should have known that something was not right about that place. Huh? Damn it. I'll call again. If he doesn't answer, we're calling the police. What do you mean? Why would the room... Ugh. Don't tell me ghost stories at a time like this. Always talking about how you see things and... <gasps> Is he answering his phone? David? David, where are you? C Central Hospital. It's a state over. Wh why are you way over there? Listen, I'll find you, so wait for me. Don't so much as move a muscle. Okay. Don't come, please, don't. Leave me alone. David? Hey, David? D David, where are you? Oh, shit. Gah, he's in another state. I'd probably take about a day to get there on my bicycle. <laughs> on his motorcycle. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> on his motorcycle, it'd probably take longer, longer than a day on his bicycle. <laughs> Full focus. On his motorcycle. On his bicycle. Marion, I'm going to see David. I'm going with you. David is my friend too. I can't just ignore him at a time like this. Alright, let's go. Let's go on my bicycle. Bream bream. <laughs> By the way, why is this car so small and everyone else is like so, so tall? David's car. He's gotta still be here. Come on, Marion. It's dark, so stay close behind me. Right? Are we playing as Paul now? Yas. We're the bestest of friends. And then we became the bestest of the friends. Okay, where is he? Are those footsteps? They were from upstairs. Is that you, David? Oh, this better not be Mr. Crooked Man. 
munching away on our friends. David. David, my friend, where are you hiding? David, where are you hiding? Mm. Is he in the vomit room? I think he's he might be in the vomit room. No. Who's there? What are you doing there? Who are you? Oh, who are you? Sissy? A girl. Hey, what are you doing in this old place? You hate sissies like me, don't you? What? Huh? But your friend is important to you, right? Hey, what the heck are you? Are you? What's this about? Go see him. Sissy, don't you leave me like that? Man, what the hell was that? Yeah, I don't know. Where is he? David, where are you hiding? Is it in the vomit room? No. David, where are you? I don't wanna ha- I don't really wanna check all the doors again. Cause I feel like this is what we always have to do. Checking all the freaking doors. No. No. I wonder if this is the, f the first time David actually ran away. So, uh... <laughs> okay, we checked all those. Let's go! <gasps> Will we meet all our friends? Where's, where's D? I like D. D the dreamer. Where are you? Oh, he's probably still down. Or was it a morgue? Maybe it was a morgue. Hello, kitty kitty kitty. wonder what he has to say about those kitties. Oh no, that's awful. You don't think David... Oh, come on. Why would you do something like that? Must have been some crazy dude. Yeah, probably Mr. Crooked Man getting a little snack. Nom 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 nom, let me just munch on those kitties. David, where are you? I'm so sorry. I cannot sleep if you wander around like this. He's not in there. He's not in there. Uh. And he's not in here, so he's probably in the basement, isn't he? Let's go over to the basement. If we can move past these... What? Someone else? David? Hey, who are you? <gasps> That's D. Yo! It's me, smell ya boy. <laughs> the hell? What are you doing here all alone? Hey, he's my friend, right? Go on and save him, tell him the truth. Huh? The truth? What? I'm counting on ya. No, 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 don't leave like this. You can't just leave without saying your legendary line, smell ya. <laughs> oh, what? Why are there so many people here? I don't get it. Okay, where's our friend? David, David. I'm coming to save you. He's not there anymore. Shit, shit, shit. Oh god, is he on the roof? David, please don't jump. There's so much more we can do to save you. Oh no, it's Mr. Fluffy. Kid? Don't tell me a kid's wandering around here. Yes it is, it's our friend Mr. Fluffy. Found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked style. 
He brought a cook, crooked can, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in the crooked little house. Kid, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, you listening to me? No. Then you had a crooked thought. Why is my crookedness a lot? Why must I be crooked instead of being not? So the crooked man would cry and he wouldn't phantom thy. Why? He was sad all the time and he sighed. And so he... Oh no. David's waiting for you. Go see him. What? What, what was with him? Why did he know David? Did he meet him? Forget about it. Let's go. Hurry on, what's wrong? What's up? Stop it. Are you teasing me? Don't you know this isn't the time for that? What? Huh? Marion, what do you mean? Teasing you. Oh no. Just who do you keep talking to? Huh? Stop trying to spook me. No, there wouldn't be anyone here. We just need to find David. No jokes. She can't see them. So that's it. Marion, go and leave the hospital. Sorry for um, trying to spook you. Don't worry, I'll find David. Wait, I'm staying with you. If anything happened, I'd be putting us both in danger. Please just trust me. Alright, please come back quickly. Right? I just go wait outside in the dark with a spooky crooked man by the motorcycle. Just wait for me, David. We gotta save our friend. Let's go. Brum, brum. Mr. Paul, the man who saves us. David, what are you doing out there? Open the door. We gotta save our friend. David. David. Oh, why why are you here? Came to pick you up. I'll ask for a good explanation later. For now, you're coming home. No. Forget about me. Just leave me alone. Hey, Dave. Oh my god, he still has the gun. No. Stay away. Oh no, David. David, you... I'm hopeless. I keep walking but I see nothing. I'll never ever be happy. Yes you will be, David. I'm, I'm a crooked man. No matter what, that's what I'll be. And those are the only things I'll have. What? What is this? David, wh what's... What's what's going on? Agony. Living is agony. Nothing will go how I want it. Right here. Right now. No. David. Persuade him. Take the gun. Punch him. What would be the wrong choice in this situation? I think it's, it would be... No. Wait. Game logic. Everything that I want to say is wrong. You know, give up on... What the heck is going on over there now? Someone suddenly decided to do... I'm printing in this very emotional moment. Seriously? Ah, uh, we'll wait a second. If you live, that's cool. Yep. Oh my god. So yeah, this might take a while. Because my brother has decided to... If you die, we see more of the game. Yay! Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna wait a second. Because my brother has decided to print his report now. I love the people I live with. Good humans. It's not that they know that I'm busy around this time, but no, I have to print my report now. 
<sighs> so, yeah. We can do some thinking about the options. So, usually persuade him would be the, in my opinion, right thing to do. But that's probably going to be the wrong thing. So, we're going to try that first. And then we're going to take the gun. And I think, I think if we punch him in the face real good, that's going to save him. Is it done? I think it's done. Okay, so we're going to pers persuade him first. Let's do that. Paul, I know you've... Yeah, living alone has its perks. Yeah, you name it. I know you've had it really rough. I'm your best bud after all. I'm always trying to help you out. And it might be hard now, but tides can change. Good things can still happen. No, I know they will. So, whatever happens, I'll help you, so... Shut up. David's not happy with what I'm saying. Who do you think you are? You want to help me? Good things will happen? They never have. It was all for nothing, so I... Did David stop? Don't say that. No, David. Who are you? Huh? I don't know you. It, and you couldn't know me. Oh no. Oh no, he's losing it. The only one who understands me was him. D -d David, you're... But I only realized in my last moments. Out of my sight, hypocrite. Oh no, is he gonna shoot me instead? David! Oh snap, he gone. David. Goodbye, my friend. Okay. Let's let's try that again. Open the door. And this time. <laughs> this time we're gonna take the gun. Which I think is also gonna be the wrong option. And then we're gonna punch him straight in the nose. All the stuff he's done. Uh, but not in this timeline. Yeah. I wonder who that is. Is that Mr. Crooked Man? I'm not gonna read that again. Yeah, take the gun. Why you? Why do you have a gun anyway? Give me that. Stop, let go. Just leave me be. Right, I can't do that, David. You're my... Stop. Okay, who got shot? Paul? Huh? What? Oh, thank I. Th oh God, I think we shot Paul. Oh, that's a lot of blood, <laughs> Paul. Uh. Did, did I? Did I just shoot you? I I didn't. No, I I really get killed. No, David, not not your fault. I tried to grab the gun. It was all me. Not your fault. David. You're not a bad guy. I'm sorry, Paul. Oh. It's not your fault, David. Okay, so, as I said, straight on the nose it is. <laughs> Let's go. Punch him in the face. David, I've come back a third time and I'm very angry because you shot yourself twice and you shot me. So now I'm punching you straight in the nose. <laughs> Oh, Stay away. We know that you're very sad. But we can find a way out of this. 
and it's through my fa my my hand on your nose. <laughs> David, you're gonna be all right. Cause I'm your best bud. We are the bestest of friends. We're gonna save each other. Punch him. Ah, what's this? this it's an attack tactic. What? Huh? Bomb. Oh. You damn monster, get away from David. Well, hey, oh, stop. Yeah. <laughs> this is, that hurts. Stop, you moron. David, you back with us? Don't say that. I like, I went nuts. I've been sane from the start. No, you haven't. Like, hell, if that's the kind of thing you do sane, I'll have to beat you up till you promise me not to. Aw. Oh. Now, about the stuff you've been doing. You better tell me everything that happened. Then we can find out what's going on. Mm-hmm, they're just sitting there having a smoke. Damn addict. Hmm. Sissy, D, and Fluffy, and the Crooked Monster. Oh, so you believe in the monster. It's my occult fanatic. Well, you see, it's not exactly fanaticism. I don't always tell you that I see it. You and Marion never believe me, sheesh. Anyway, about Sissy D and the kiddo. I think I met him. Huh? That's ridiculous. Fluffy maybe, but Sissy and D wouldn't be here. Listen up, David. People's consciousnesses, they sort of stick around in places. Most of you are cult, Shh, whatever that word is. You're seriously making fun of me? Fun of the occult after this? Just listen and no jokes. So you've had a pretty similar to the guy who used to live in your room, right? Childhood dreams, bad breakup, family trouble. When I first looked at the place, it was fine. But once you moved in, I had this strange feeling from you and from the room. <laughs> Did she? <laughs> yeah, it re it's really red chic. Okay. Knowledge. You learn something new every single day. I'd have to guess the guy's consciousness was per was a perfect match with you. Gotta be why you wanted to meet this guy too. So you're saying he's calling me? Yep, and you're unconsciously responding. Some people are soft-hearted to the core and always symp sympathize with others. And they get taken advantage of the most. Oh, that's true. Taken advantage of? Look, I don't I barely know him? You know a little from the stuff he left. Plus, that was all the stuff you could identify with. So what would you think of a guy who's the splitting ima spitting image of you? Would you hate him or like him? I don't know. Well, we haven't found him yet. I'm guessing both. Same as him. Think back. The crooked man tried to kill you. Tried to drag you with him. But on the other hand, weren't there people who relied on you? Who wanted your help? Yes, they were. What? Yeah, Sissy and D and Fluffy. <gasps> he hated you, but he liked you. He thought he could share in suffering with you. He was so he was so he was seeking your help. And that's why you met those people. That's what I'm thinking. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's right. Not quite right. He wasn't seeking my help. He helped me. Got me back on my feet. Again, that's you and him being similar. Hmm? What's up? There's something in my pocket. When did I pick this up? Oh, David. You can't always forget till the very last second.
Nadras. I don't think it's that far. Oh, we're going on a road trip again. Everybody bring some snacks and some friends. We're going on a road trip. <laughs> I need some more water for this trip. Just... There we go. Okay. Where are we going? I'm going. I have to meet him. Could always not. What if something happens? Well, you're my bestest of friends, so you gotta come with me. I feel like if I don't go, the crooked man will f follow me forever. So I'm going. David. Do I have to punch you again, David? You come back to us. Safe. I don't wanna go to my friend's funeral. Yeah, I know. Thanks. <laughs> Doesn't sound very optimistic, David. What's going on? Scene 4. Central Hospital, Paul. End. Well, that was a short scene. We're back with our friend David. Nice. Let's go. Who does want to go to their friend's funeral? No one wants to do that. No one. This is the place, for sure. Could this be his house? So let's find out. Let's meet Mr. Crooked Man. Let's see what happened to him. I have something in my eye. Okay, we're good. Oh, who's that? Are you the Crooked Man? Hello. Hello. Excuse me, can I have a second? What? Ain't seen you around. Going for a stroll? Yes, I am. <laughs> Apparently not. Uh, no, actually. Um, who lives there? Do you know them? Oh, you mean Mr. McGahan? Mrs. McGahan. Miss McGahan? Someone named McGahan lives here. Not anymore. Miss McGahan passed away last year. The house has been neglected ever since. Waste of a fine house it is. Oh yeah, I think she had a son. Wish she'd just rent out or sell the house. Do you know anything about her son? Nah, never seen him. I only moved here a few years back. Heard he lives in an apartment away. It's away. I see. That's all. I gotta go back to home by daybreak or my wife will be livid. Uh, yes, thanks a lot. <laughs> Can I steal his mail? Must have been the resident's name. Nothing's growing in the planter. And let's look through their trash. A blue garbage can. Filled with rotten waste. Okay, let's do this. It's locked. Oh well. Do we have any more mysterious keys left? Or we could just shoot it open. Or we could use this bloody key. Oh no, that's the cat key. And it worked. What a strange place to hide a key. In a cat. Oh. Broken mirror. Feels like it was struck with something. Pretty big for a crooked little house. <laughs> Indeed it is. Look at this. They have even have a whirlpool. The bath water is muddy. It smells bizarre. Yeah, I don't like bath waters and I'm not trusting them, so we're not going anywhere near that. I can't... Wait. Piece of shattered plate. Okay. A note! Got a scrap from a notebook. I recalled the rhyme of the crooked man. All he could do was live in a crooked house with a cat and... Mouse just as crooked. I was the same way. Everything I wished for ended up crooked. My dreams, my love, my, even my family. How did the crooked man live? He was sorrowful in the depths of his despair. Such a life has no meaning. Oh boy. Can I watch some TV? No, the TV has a big crack in the screen. Can I call someone? An old telephone, no power so you can't make any calls. <gasps> so no one can hear you scream. Through the telephone. Great. 
What is this? A big gash on the wall. Okay, what do we have in all these rooms? This whole house is a little bit out of control, isn't it? Broken mirror. The closet's door is half open. There are coats and such inside. A strange voice coming from the radio. Okay. Fake. <laughs> Found a scrap from a notebook. Why, why, why? No, 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 no. All telephones got their power from the telephone line, not the normal power outlet. Oh yeah, that's true. Maybe, maybe the phone line's no longer connected. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh look, more scraps. Oh, this is a big room. And the attic, and I don't trust this. Old telephone. A calendar for last year, there's a big X on it. Oh, that's always a bad sign. Fireplace. And we're not going into the attic because I don't trust the attic. Out of cigarettes, I need a smoke. Well, I think I have some cigarettes left. Do you, do you want some of my cigarettes? Oh god, there's even more chaos in this house. How much chaos can there be? A pile of paper scraps, they have very few words written on them. But let's find the notebook. A black covered notebook. The rule on this notebook matches the scraps I have. Combined all the scraps and got the notebook. Yay! There's a name on the back. Oh, it better not be David. Duke. Duke. Mac Gaham. Okay. Gaham. So that's our man. There's almost nothing in this desk. Deflated volleyball, vo blah, 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 blah. volleyball sits on top. There aren't many clothes in the closet. A few men's coats and suits. And a beautiful painting. The painting's falling off the floor. Falling to the floor. Must have been hung on the wall before. Well, that's a nice rhyme. So before we go into the attic, let's save because I'm pretty sure we're not gonna like what we're gonna find in there. The ladder looks like it goes to the attic, but the door doesn't open. Oh well. What do we do then? Trash can. Can we burn something in the fireplace? Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clenching my sweaty pillows and... Okay, I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? It was our special place. She loved the pretty room with its big mirror. Would wonder what to wear for dinner. Now it's just me. I thought it might help to come here, but it didn't. It's only emptiness. I don't need her memory anymore. I know she won't come back. So I have to erase everything, good and bad, and all the memories inside of me too. Many hopes were fulfilled here. Many youths were blessed. But I didn't receive that blessing. What's so bad about me? I was never picked by anyone. It never made sense. I loathed those days. I knew there was something I lacked, but I didn't want to admit it. My ambition, my ambitious youthfulness wouldn't let me. I wanted someone to say it. I wanted to be woken up. To be told I'm a have not I sat in the chair and watched the bed like always, only there was no one in the bed anymore. What have I accomplished? I could only watch my family scream. I still can't answer that question. Ooh. My mother told me I was born here. She called it a place of happiness, but for me it's a place of regrets. Oh no. I wish I could kill my child save self back like when I was pure, when I still thought everyone loved me. I recall the rhyme of the crooked man. All he could do was live in a crooked house with a rat and a mouse just as crooked. Oh no, that's exactly what David said. I was the same way. Everything I wished for ended up crooked. My dreams, my love, even my family. How did the crooked man live? He was such sorrowful in the depths of despair. Such a life has no meaning. Why, why, why? No, no, no. Out of cigarettes need a smoke. 
Can I burn this? Okay, I think we're missing something. Light bulb is shattered. I don't like this house. It's it's a little bit freakish. Look at these books and no telephone. Can I look in your trash can? The garbage can is filled with rotten waste. No. Nope. Of a stain with burns and rust. You have some snacks for me in the fridge? Not much food in the refrigerator. Of course, it's all gone bad. Oh, I really wanted a snack there. <laughs> oh, we almost missed a note. Don't scrap from the notebook. The hotel, the school, the hospital. It was the same at all of them. My saddest memories wouldn't go away. Writing wouldn't calm down my heart. In the end, my festering heart just oozes more and I tear up the paper. What was that? I heard something and I don't like it. Mine is an empty existence. I have nothing to leave behind, not even words. Well, no worries, friend, because I came here to bring you back all those notes. Those are tools and cleaning equipment. And old junk. There's clearly someone here, and I do not like it. What? Oh boy, it's Mr. Crooked Man! Hey mate, is he crying? <laughs> Crooked Man. I, I can't up like you. He's up there, isn't he? Then I'll be going there. This will be the end. Oh god, we're doing some action again. What? I am shooting- Oh. <laughs> hey, I shot him. He didn't do anything. Nothing happened. I'm here, Mr. Crooked Man. I'm gonna shoot you. Oh boy. No, he's getting too close. I don't like it. Stay away. Oh, run, 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 run. What the hell is this? Nope. Hmm. What are you thinking about? About my enormous skill at this game? How often do I have to shoot him? Seriously. We're having a stare off. Wait, I have to hold my head like this, otherwise we can't have a stare off. I'm gonna pew pew pew. Oh shit. And I missed. Oh no 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 no. I'm gonna pew 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 you. Oh shit oh shit oh shit. Go fast go fast go fast. Go fast. Go faster. Okay. Taking a little break here. Pew pew pew! Go 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 go! And he's screeching, he's making me all nervous. Oh no 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 no! Stop munching on my shoulder! You can't have me! No 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 no! I'm faster than you! Oh no 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 no! It's like one more munch and we're gone and we're gonna be gone! Oh. oh, this is gonna be a very close call. Pew! No, stop it. Shit, I'm gonna be toast. I'm gonna be toast. I'm gonna be very much toast. I'm gonna be very toasted. Heckin' toasted. Oh, I don't get it. I was doing so fine. Here we go again. I'm gonna toast you, Mr. Crooked Man. Pew! 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 
Yo, that that's what I call the flick attack. Pew. Oh no, he's munching on me and he did a good munch, a good bite. Some delicious David for dinner. <laughs> Come on, David. Why can't I shoot him over the table? That's unfair. That's usually my go-to tactic. Just, you know, hide somewhere and have him just attack me. Come here. I'm gonna shoot you. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. Be a good crooked man and leave me the frick alone, will you? Oh, no. No, 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 no. You can't have a bite of me. I am not that delicious, to be honest. Just, just leave me alone, you know? We're not, we're not, we're not doing this. Oh god. No! Oh shit, he's fast. He has lightning speed. Oh god, I shot the wall. Come here, Mr. Crooked Man. It's kind of unfair. We are the ones intruding in his house. Why is he doing these noises? I don't know. It's just his nervous noise. Maybe his, like, vocal cords broke when he broke his neck. Crooked man, I'm not going to be like you. You won't catch me. Why is he laughing? I don't like it. Much misery as I encountered, as painful and bloody as it might be, I'll keep living. So? Be gone! Leave, peasant! You can't hurt me anymore. <laughs> oh my god, he's actually fading away. Poor crooked man. And then I was blessed by the... the sun. Let's go. Let's go. It's a door. Open the door. Show me how he turned crooked. I mean, I already guess I know how he turned crooked. Duke. There he is. Poor crooked man. Oh boy. He's been chilling here for a long time. You... You detested me. I thought I lived such a similar life. You hated how I lived comfortable, comfortably. So you wanted to drag me down, to take me with you. But didn't you want to be safe deep down? So you called me? No, that's not right. You wanted to help me, to tell me don't come the way I've come. Thank you. Nothing will make you suffer anymore. Where you're going, it's a good place, so... Now you can rest in peace. Watch the ending. We want to watch the ending. Yes, please. I want to see what happens. Well, it must have been rough, David, finding a corpse on your trip, but it sounds like it ended up alright. I'll go make some tea. He was beaten by the crooked man. He was dragged to the other side. The crooked man was always right behind me. I, I realized he was there. Every time I felt sad, I felt like he was whispering to me. Oh, that's why he said we killed D. Oh, and that was... Ugh, I didn't like that moment. <laughs> I knew if I acknowledged it, I was done for. So I tried not to think about it. If all this hadn't happened, I think sooner or later I'd taken this, this same path. Thinking of it... That way, he really did save me. 
always such an easy target, aren't you? <laughs> That's why you got dragged into this. Oh, Paul, not helpful. It's fine. The crooked man is gone. Hello? Huh? Oh, no. Okay, I'll... I'll head right there. Oh. David, what's up? Who was that? What was the hospital, wasn't it? The hospital. Mom's condition took a turn. They're going to have to do the operation. <gasps> no! Take my bike. It'll be faster. You gotta go. Don't sit there staring. Oh no. Doctor. Doctor. Mom Mom's condition. To be honest, this is rather risky. Removing the tumor isn't too difficult, but she might not have the strength to. Doctor, please, my mom. She's she's the only family I have. Please. Sign this. We're getting ready now. We'll do the best job we can. Okay. Oh no. Oh no! Doctor, m mom The tumor was successfully removed. She's still sleeping now. We might have a chance if she wakes up. Tonight will be the biggest hurdle. Have faith in her. Ooh. Oh my god, she's, she's doing good. David? Mom! Mom, oh thank god, you woke up, you really... Oh. I felt like I was in darkness. I was scared, screaming. I must have worried you. And those things I did to you, I'm so sorry. It was hard, wasn't it? It's okay, it's okay. You helped me open my eyes. Mom, I was so unhappy. I was just struggling to be happy. But I didn't give my mother the happiness she needed, and after all the hardship I'd given her. I foolishly doubted. I thought I wasn't loved, wasn't needed. That's why I... Do you hate me for it? Don't be silly, David. Indeed, you and I both. It's hard to say we were always happy. Even in sad times, you were always honest. You lived a straight and honest life. I, I was so proud of you. Why was? Is this is this gonna be the, the end? Of me? Of David? I was so proud of you. Having you as a son was my greatest happiness. Oh. Don't focus on the sad things. And I'm sure you'll notice all the happiness hiding around you. Davy, I'm thirsty. Can you bring me some water? Sure, just a second. Oh. Here you go, Mom. Mom, Mom, Mom? Oh no! Mom? Oh my god, there's still the coffee on the floor. <laughs> you got a good funeral. I'm sure your mother's happy now. You gotta be tired, huh, David? You okay? She told me she was happy in the end. If I'm going to live without blaming myself. Those words are going to help a lot. It's fine if I have to suffer. I can be smiling in the end. 
David. Marion, why are you? Oh no. Shirley, why are you? Hey Shirley, I still ain't forgiven you. How dare you give David the cold? <laughs> oh whoa 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 whoa. Um, we're going. Okay, stop pinching me. David, I heard about your mother. It's good you came, Shirley. Mom always liked you, so I bet she's glad. Thanks. Oh. David, I was uneasy. I got unsure of where I was going, worried that the road I was walking would be full of twists and turns. So I took it out on you and your kindness. You never let me down. But how did I repay you? I'm really the worst of the worst. I'm sorry, maybe this is too late, but... David, if it's okay with you, would you like to... David, I'm sorry, please don't cry. No, I'm not sad, I'm just... Even though my dreams were crushed, and I just lost my only family. I'm just so happy she you came back. Oh. It's okay, Shirley. However off kilter things get, we'll set them straight, I promise you. David. Oh. You know what I think? A crooked man had a crooked body and only crooked things. But I'm sure he was happy living in this crooked house. Oh. Oh, he brought. Did he bring him a pack of smokes? <laughs> oh. I hope to see you again. Until then, rest in peace. Good end. Bye bye, Blackbird. Oh. Oh, what an what a nice ending. That actually makes me really happy. I was a little bit worried that uh, the ending's gonna be a little bit weird, but uh, I like the ending. So, even though I'd love to uh, have a little bit more backstory on on the Crooked Man, I think it was, it was very good, very very nice little game. It was nice. Yep. And if... Uh, I think you could have just played that in like two streams. But because I uh, I tend to not find my way around, we actually took a few more. So that was the end. I wonder if the, the menu changes. Oh, what's this? Thank you for playing the Crooked Man and congrats on the good ending. This is a bonus area. You'll lose access to it if you quit, so I recommend making a save. You can also begin a second playthrough here. Ooh! Wait. Wait, we have to do a little... That's you! <laughs> okay. A little bit weird. Let's save. Player. Okay. What can we do here? About the second playthrough. The door... On the top leads to the second playthrough, but there's no change to story, battles, or choices. So some events near the ending, but some events near the ending change. Please try it if you're interested. Second play will be in 
Okay, playthroughs 3 and up have no changes. About the series. This ends the Crooked Man. But I'd like to make a series of similar games. I hope you might play them when they come out. They'll be available on my blog. About the game. Strange event that happened to a friend of the author. Writing it all would be too long. Story, unfortunately, it might be available on my blog. This game is less scary than my last game, uh, which I didn't play, by the way. I didn't know there were m more games to this one. Uh, but I considered having more action in this one. The author will be delighted if you enjoyed it. Again, thank you for playing. All these people were the same ghost, right? Yeah, I think so. We can begin a second playthrough here. I wonder what changes at the end. Oh, I love that it says second play. Oh. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna play it for the second time. I'd love to find out what actually changes in the end. Um. Maybe if I find the time we can play it again, but I think for now we actually move on to to another little project. Even though I don't know what it's gonna be just yet. I mean you can probably also Google it. Yes, that's that's right. Uh if it's just a minor change. Yeah, that's right. So we could just blah 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 blah. Yeah, we can go out drinking, you're gonna forget your license, you're gonna yell at each other, and my room still sucks. So, save the game. Turn to the title, please. Nope, no, it's still as terrible as before. So, switch over here. So... It was a little bit shorter today, but uh, I think that's a, that's okay with me. I have my little my little Christmas ha Christmas hat. Uh, I'm definitely gonna try and get a better Christmas hat for the next time because I I love Christmas hats, but this was the only one I could find because who knew finding a damn Christmas hat in this house is uh, is hard. <laughs> that's why we uh, actually had the cha chaotic beginning of the of the stream. It was a little bit weird. But that's okay. We can deal with weird silences and stuff like that. So, uh, oh yeah. Let's see if we can raid anyone. I'd really like to do that. Because it was only such a short stream. Let's see if anyone else is playing. Playing the Crooked Man. Maybe the second playthrough. Even though I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be the case. And I don't like listening to myself twice. Um, No, not really. No, they're all older. Oh. Well. I think that's, that's a... I don't like these headphones because sometimes when you move it's, it's uh, making noises. And then it, it feels like someone's talking into your ear, and I don't like that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope you had a nice day, by the way. And yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today. I still have some stuff to do, as always. Uh, I really hope it's gonna get better, but I doubt that. Because uh, I got a shock today, looking at the calendar and realizing it's only like two months until I have my final exams, so... Oh my god, I'm already losing my mind, which is not good. It's definitely not good. But uh, yeah, we'll have to figure out what's going to be our next project. Um, I have not decided yet because unfortunately it's it's going to be a, it's going to take some time until we actually get the new PC. I was really looking forward to it, to getting it by the end of uh, last month, but that didn't work out as well. 
because of uh, you know missing parts and then you can't order the other ones and then there's no graphics card and everything's just I don't know going over the top and everywhere <laughs> but not in the right direction but uh, we're gonna figure this out I don't know when I don't know when the the graphics card will be available again so oh, that's so annoying because I really wanted to play like a really good looking game and uh, you know we can't really do that <laughs> At the moment so yeah if you have any ideas please let me know and also yeah what else can i promote yeah you know there's my my twitter and if you don't uh if you aren't subscribed on youtube yet you should definitely do that and then we'll see each other again next week and i'll figure something out so yeah crimson's out i hope you have a nice evening and yeah that's it Bye bye